Okay, question 11. Uh, you're the executive with a, the Varsity Corporation in Atlanta, Georgia. The company president was scheduled to make an important sales presentation tomorrow afternoon in Seattle, Washington. He now has asked you to take his place. So the trip is a two and three quarters hour, hours flight to, from Atlanta to Dallas, one and a half hour layover in Dallas, and three and a half hour flight to Portland. There's a one and a fourth hour layover in Portland and a three fourths hour flight to Seattle. And then Seattle is three hours earlier than time in Atlanta. A whole bunch of information. But basically what they're saying is, hey, you start at 10.30 p.m. in Atlanta and all flights are on schedule. So what time will you arrive in Seattle? It's this plus this layover plus this plus this plus this. But then in Seattle, we're three hours behind. So it's subtracted by this number here. Okay, so let's write that out. That's uh, the total flight time is two and three fourths hours for the first flight, plus the one and a half hour layover, plus the three and a half hour flight to Portland, plus the one and one fourths hour layer to uh, layover in Portland, and then plus a three fourths hour flight to Seattle, subtracted by the three hours. Uh, be, to get us back in Seattle time, because Seattle is three hours behind the Atlanta time. Okay, so that's the big long calculation we need to make. You know, it's going to just make your life easier if you just add the whole parts like we did on another word problem, and then add the fractions separately, okay? So two hours plus one hour plus three hours plus one, so two plus one makes three, plus three makes six, plus one makes seven, subtracted by three makes... Four. We got four whole hours. And then with the fractions, you know, maybe we can write that off to the side. There's our fractions. We need common denominators, so luckily it's not too bad to convert these. So we add these, three plus two makes five, five plus two makes seven, seven plus one makes eight, eight plus three makes 11 over four. So when we added the fractions up, we got two and three fourths hours. So total flight time, the whole numbers added up to be four and the fractions added up to be two and three fourths. So that's a total of six and three fourths hours. Okay, when you do all this math, we just found out that it's six and three fourths. So we need to be six and three fourths hours ahead of this. So 10:30 p.m. You know we can count on our fingers. 11:30 p.m. and then that's 12:30 a.m., 1:30 a.m., 2:30 a.m., 3:30 a.m., 4:30 a.m., 4:30 a.m. plus three fourths of an hour. So 4:30 a.m. plus 45 minutes. That puts us at 5.15 a.m. Uh, I don't know what these drop downs are, but it should be 5.15 a.m. It's a huge question. So let me, let me just go over that again. We added this, 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 and this. But then we had to subtract three hours because Seattle is behind Atlanta by three hours. So that's what this represents. To make that happen, we took the whole parts. Two plus one makes three plus three makes six, plus one makes seven, subtracted by three makes four for the whole numbers. And then we added the fractions off to the side. And if we did that right, that should be two and three fourths hours. So together, that makes six and three fourths hours of total flight and wait time, minus the three hour delay. Uh, they say your return flight is scheduled to leave Seattle at 9, 10 p.m. tomorrow night. Same flight times and layovers. What time are you scheduled to arrive in Atlanta? Now, you might be tempted to just say uh, add six and three fourths here, but remember about the time zone, right? This, the total flight time without the time zone adjustment was nine and three fourths of an hour. Okay. Uh, if we're going from Seattle to Atlanta, we're increasing our, our, our clocks by three hours because we're going in the opposite direction with the time zones. So 12 and three fourths more should be the time. So that's easy because if you go 12 hours away, it's just the same time, but in a.m. So that's 9, 10 a.m. plus 45 minutes. So that would be 9, 
5.55 a.m. And then they got to make it a little bit more complicated. If the leg back, uh, if the leg from Dallas back to Atlanta is two thirds of an hour longer than the schedule due to headwinds, what time will you actually arrive? So two thirds of an hour. If you take 60 minutes and multiply by two, divide by three, that's 40 minutes, okay? Two thirds of an hour is 40 minutes. So all we have to do is take this time and add 40 minutes because of the headwind delay. It's, uh, it's 40 minutes longer. So take whatever answer you get in part B and add 40 minutes to it. So if we do that, um, that'd be th uh, 1035, right? 